hello my loves welcome and welcome back to mama cooks tarot i am amira thank you guys so much for your continued love and support here on the channel as per usual i'm back with your daily message okay all signs timestamps are down below in the description box this is going to be for february 7th February 7th, 2022. Okay, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on with you, for you at this time. How you doing? How you doing? All right, let's get into these messages. Aries. What's going on, Aries? I hope you're doing well. Let's see what message is here for you guys for the 7th. I'm hearing collateral, so um, <clears throat> I don't know if someone is wanting collateral or, um, or having to give collateral for something. Let's see. I feel like if, if this collateral, it, yeah, it's it's really necessary. I'm, and I'm not sure if they're urging you, okay, to get some kind of collateral for something. Because I feel like if not, then, you know. It'll be a fucking shit show. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> okay, here we are. Eight of Cups showing up in your heart space. Okay, Eight of Cups is someone who is emotionally withdrawn. This is you guys on today. Withdrawn from the emotions. Not really um, concerned. Yeah, I don't know, Aries. If it's like you, you, you need to get something to give something. Okay. That's what I feel. On your mind, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, being really logical, the King of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is a decision maker. This is someone who focuses on the facts, not the feelings, okay? That's kind of, that's what's going on for you here today. The challenge is the moon, which is the subconscious energy. This is lots and lots of feelings, deep emotions, okay? There's fears here. Um, all of this is going on, but I feel like if you get collateral, <laughs> and I don't think this is at all something in the material realm, okay? I don't think it literally means, you know, get some money for what you're doing or <clears throat> hold on to somebody's ID while they use your stuff, okay? Not that kind of thing. I, I just feel like uh, something needs to be reciprocated, basically, okay? It's time to take a new approach as well. Maybe this is something that you have not done before with a particular person or in this specific situation, but you need collateral. Yeah, you're wiser now. You're wiser now. All right, that's very Moving right along. Taurus. What's up, bull gang? What's going on? Let's get your message for the seventh for the bull gang. Taurus, how are you feeling, um, darling? Venus is... Finally at a retrograde. Let's see what message we have for the bull game for the seven. <clears throat> for Taurus. In the heart space today, we're showing up a little uh, cold and dry, okay? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is someone who does not focus on her emotions. She puts them to the side. <clears throat> Literally, you can see in this card, she has put her emotions to the side, okay? This is how you're feeling today. Trying to focus on the facts and not how you're feeling. <clears throat> I feel like you guys are also... Um, drained okay maybe a feeling emotionally drained on your mind seven of cups okay yeah so the seven of cups is um lots and lots of options it's a need to make a choice need to make a decision um th but your head is in the clouds Taurus and this is what I'm saying if you're putting your emotions to the side because you are emotionally drained I don't know what's been on your mind or what you've been focusing on um, but I think you do need to kind of take some rest, okay? Maybe take a bath, watch some Netflix. The challenge, Knight of Wands, yeah. The Knight of Wands is someone who go, 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 right? And, and does focus on their emotions, their deep desires, you know, <clears throat> and can also be impulsive, but I feel like you need to, um, yeah, spend some time with your family, 
Okay, some of you are spending time with your family and, and maybe that's what's draining you emotionally. I look at this, five of wands, four of cups. <sighs> All right, take a rest day, Taurus. All right, let's fix where it is. Gemini, what's up, Gemini? Let's get your message huh. for the seven for Gemini. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. Personal love readings are on sale right now. Okay. Through the end of the month. My email is in the description box if you guys are interested in that. But let's see. Ten of Pentacles showing up in your heart space. <clears throat> this is community it's long term wealth stability security you're definitely feeling secure here I'm not sure if there's some kind of gathering or um, or just a, an overwhelming feeling of commitment and loyalty this is what you are feeling today let's see what you're committed to on your mind we have the three of pentacles so the three of pentacles is building it's teamwork it's cooperation it's working together with another individual this is also focusing on putting yourself out there so if you're starting a new business or um going back to school or you know doing an apprenticeship an internship or a new job in general this is the place where we show off what we have learned show off our skills show off what we have to offer to another individual company business so on and so forth this is what's going on in your mind i feel like you're really focused here gemini on putting forth your best effort okay the challenge queen of swords okay well i don't know who this queen of swords is but she can certainly represent a jealous ex okay so if that's the situation yes yeah, seven of wands at the bottom of the deck some of you this may have to do with an ex who is trying to um cause problems that's typically the queen of swords energy and especially when i see the seven of wands and this two of cups okay i was seeing this two of cups before we even laid the cards out so there's definitely some kind of relationship here and, and i don't know if someone is trying to get in the midst of said relationship or something like that but just be mindful of that energy today <clears throat> also feel like you need to pay attention to your intuition specifically the things that you see Interesting. There's something that you're seeing. I don't know if you're not believing it or uh, what, but pay attention to that today. Okay. All right. Cancer. What's up, Cancer? Let's get your message. Four to seventh for my Cancerian family. I hope you're doing well, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. It's really appreciated. Let's see what message is here. Don't forget to like this video, you guys. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles showing up in your heart space. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is feeling very secure with something <clears throat> is this someone who understands her value look how confident she is holding on to that pinnacle that pinnacle is sort of representing what she has and what she is it is it is what she represents pretty much and she's confident holding it understanding how much it's worth understanding um that she cannot sacrifice it for any old thing understanding how to multiply it if necessary the queen of pentacles is extremely resourceful this is confidence showing up for you today very 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 confident on the mind justice some of you are signing a contract, okay, or starting a new, not starting a new job, um, but something like, it's like the initiation, okay, there's some kind of initiation here. On your mind um, with this justice card, this, again, could represent a contract uh, um, that you are considering 
or in um, agreement, let's just put it that way, that you are considering, which again, could be a job, could be a business, could be a car, could be a house, could be a marriage, okay? A, a contract is a contract is a contract. But nonetheless, this justice card represents cause and effect. It represents balance <clears throat> and making good, right, trusted, true decisions. That's what's going on in your mind. Really considering something. Yeah, Two of Cups. Okay, Two of Cups is uh, a relationship, a partnership. It's mutual trust, attraction, and interest. Okay, between two people or two things. This could be representing for some of you, you and your higher self. But I definitely feel like there's some kind of contract here that you're considering. Yeah, there it is again. The Lover's Card. <laughs> okay. Wow. With the Ten of Wands back there and the Seven of Wands. It's been a long road. It's been a really long road for somebody. Okay, congratulations. Whatever that's representing. All right, that's for Cancer. Leo. What's up, Leo? Let's get your message for the Seven. For Leo, I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are, whatever you're going through. Don't forget to like this video, you guys, and subscribe to the channel, okay? <clears throat> Reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. The love readings are still on sale through the end of the month. But well, let's see what's going on for you for the 7th. For Leo. Is that Anita Baker? I've had this song stuck in my head like all day. Wheel of Fortune showing up in your heart space. I feel like you're releasing control. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> you're taking some kind of chance here, Leo. <laughs> Interesting. Page of Wands on your mind, yeah. Okay, page of wands is good news. It's something that excites you. Some kind of communication that excites you. Could be an invitation of some sort for some of you. Could be uh, flirty messages. Nonetheless, it's a new exciting path. This is the initiation to something that will really invigorate your passion. I'm wanting to say again, okay, for some reason. This is what's going on here. What's the challenge? Seven of wands. You got your guard up. <clears throat> You still have your guard up. So I feel like you are, you're willing, okay, is the word I'm wanting to use. You're willing to release control. You're willing to say, Jesus, take the wheel, <laughs> okay? But some parts of you, there is still a guard up, okay, of protection. Yeah, four of swords, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you're still healing from something. Mm-hmm. I like this though because this is this is actively um I feel like you're being active in healing whereas you once were not okay you once were not yeah there's the three of swords the seven of pentacles turned into the queen of swords right someone who spent <clears throat> a lot of time considering um, what did I do wrong or, uh, you know, should I continue to invest in something even though it continues to hurt? And then it turned into this ice cold ice queen, which is the queen of swords. Someone who doesn't really focus on love, someone who doesn't really focus on her emotional place, what drives her from an emotional place, right? This is someone who may be bitter and... Uh, you know, sarcastic even. I don't know why I'm wanting to say that specifically, but I feel like you're taking an active role um, in healing, okay? And trying to start something new. You're taking a chance, okay? All right, let's really... Virgo, what's going on? Let's give your message, Virgo, for um, February 7th, 2022. I hope you're doing well wherever you are, whatever you're going through. Let me know down in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Wow. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords showing up here at the bottom of the deck. That's an interesting combination. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords both represent a new beginning, right? As we know, but... 
one speaks to the heart and emotional space, one speaks to intimacy, and the other speaks to level-headed clarity, mental clarity, trying to communicate clearly about your emotional space. I, I feel like, okay, let's get going here, let's see. Showing up in the heart space. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. There's some kind of, um, I don't want to say it's blocked. I just feel like you're trying to assess the facts of a situation, okay? It's like, yeah, I do feel something. Um, I am drawn to this thing or this person. I just want to make sure, right? I just want to make sure that it's going to be long-lasting. I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting my energy, effort, attention, money, resources, or emotions in this thing. That's basically what's going on here. On your mind, Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is typically a gift from the universe. Showing up on your mind, this is um something from your past. There's some kind of emotional connection here, but it's, again, it's showing up in your mind space. So... I don't know if you're thinking about this. Um, some of you may be considering having children as well. For sure. Hmm. Eight of Swords is a challenge. So whatever it is you're considering today, Virgo, there's a lot of fear involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a lot of fear involved. Wow. And we have a surprise at the bottom of the deck. So is somebody pregnant? <laughs> or what's going on here? Is somebody pregnant? Or whatever um, this tower is representing, there's some kind of shock to the system or awakening, like we saw with that Ace of Swords, right? Awakening to the truth. There's some kind of surprise or shock or like, okay, something is happening that makes you have to... It's like, okay, i got to consider this. What am I going to do? But there's extreme fear involved. I feel like a lot of you are leaning in a specific direction, but just afraid to pick it. That's what the Eight of Swords really is, right? That's a place that we think that we're in. She's not really there. It's just what it looks like, what it feels like. You have to take the blindfold off. And I feel like you are focusing on the facts, but you have to step up, step out, and... Just choose the direction that you know is going to be best for you. Interesting. All right. That's for Virgo. Libra. <clears throat> What's going on, Libra? Let's get your message for February 7th for my Libra folks. I hope you're doing well, Libra. Let's see what's going on. Don't forget to like this video, you guys, and subscribe. Reach out for a personal reading. The love readings are on sale right now. $25 for about 15 minutes pre-recorded, of course. Whether you are single or coupled. Okay. You can email me if you guys are interested in that. But let's see what's going on for you for the seven. Somebody dealing with a Taurus. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. There it is. <laughs> I don't usually look at the bottom of the deck at the beginning of the message, but I felt the need to. And there's that Taurian energy. Got the Empress showing up here. Okay, it could be dealing with the Taurus, or this could be showing up as your energy today. I feel like someone is really concerned with their health or their physical body. <clears throat> All right. In the heart space, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is someone who is emotionally withdrawn, so I'm not really focusing on your emotions today or maybe running away from them. This is deep. It, it, you know, the emotional space, the subconscious space, all of that shit is already deep to begin with, but this Eight of Cups, call, it, it's like they are pushed down farther. Okay, showing up here. If it was on your mind, I would say different, but we have, you know, yeah, no, we have the seven of pentacles on your mind. It's interesting. This is kind of similar to, um, Virgo's message. Seven of pentacles is showing up on your mind. So you are assessing something, but I feel like you're focusing more on, um, again, the physical, the physical, how it affects the physical, okay. Or the material rather than the emotional state or space. 
the pentacles speak to material, physical, that kind of, you know, tangible touch, taste, feel, smell kind of thing. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if we have somebody here who is, um, or rather it feels as though we have somebody here who is focused on that. Again, I, I feel like it has to do with the physical health or, um, like what your body looks like physically, but not actually focusing on the, how it affects you emotionally. It was, it's really hard to get these words out. Yeah, we have the tower as the challenge. Damn. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So something is clearly happening here. And again, like I said, this is kind of mirroring Virgo's message. They had the tower at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's behind this empress. I'm not sure if someone is finding out that they're pregnant. It feels like there's some kind of pregnancy here. Or, uh, oh gosh, is somebody giving birth? All right, I'm not sure, but um, that's kind of what it looks like, honestly. That's obviously not gonna be everybody's message, but the Empress speaks on time. It's time, you know, to go from this 10 of Wands to the Empress card that challenges the tower. There's some kind of physical taxing here or focus on the physical body, okay? Interesting. Okay, let's leave it there. Scorpio. What's up, Scorpio? Let's see what message is here for you guys for the 7th of February. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult to say. I've been saying it my whole life. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know down in the comments down below what's going on for you at this time how this message resonates or if you just want to say hey <laughs> i'm open to that too <laughs> also if you guys are interested in a personal reading you can reach me via email the love readings are on sale right now 25 dollars for about 15 minute pre-recorded message whether you are single or coupled but let's see what's going on for you guys um, for the 7th of February for Scorpio, please. <laughs> Hearing tomato, tomato. <laughs> I feel like that's somebody's favorite saying. It's, it's really nonchalant. <clears throat> okay. If you think about it, right? Nobody actually says tomato. <laughs> Nobody does. It's just an argument that sometimes people give when there's nothing else to give. It's like whatever you you beat me into submission, but whatever. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna stick with what I want to do or what I know or what I've been doing. That kind of thing is going on here. Stubborn, 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 stubborn. Perspective as well. Knight of Pentacles showing up in your heart heart space today, Scorpio. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is someone who is um, committed to something. I feel like you're taking your time with something, learning things along the way. But very dedicated. Hmm. There's some kind of support showing up here. Um... Someone who has been loyal. It's not you. It's another individual. Someone who has been loyal. I'm not sure if this person is... Um... Okay, let's keep going. On your mind, we have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It, I don't know if it's, if this is a crush or, um, you know, it could be a, just a, a relationship in general where things have not really gone super fast, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there's definitely something that you want, okay? There's a goal in mind here, whether it has to do with a relationship or um, just a personal goal in general. I, I, yeah, you're lear you've learned something along the way. I feel like you're learning things about yourself, okay, by way of your experiences. And so, and, and, okay, and so you are taking your time with whatever this is. Nine of Cups on your mind, though, is wish fulfillment, okay? <clears throat> But this is also someone who is focused on their own emotional fulfillment. This is someone who can fulfill themselves emotionally on their own. Hmm. 
challenge is the king of wands. Yeah, but something, I don't know if something has you wanting to be distracted. Okay, with this king, I mean, look how, you know. <laughs> the king of wands is um, very charismatic, very attractive, very, very, very outgoing. Um, all of those things. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the two of wands, taking a new approach, doing something different. But this is what I'm saying with this knight of pentacles. He typically stays on the same path and is really focused and determined to get to a certain place. But I feel like something is, um, something has you veering off to the left. I don't think it's negative, though. I don't think it's negative. <clears throat> okay, that was a lot. Alright, that was for Scorpio. Sag! Oops. What's going on, Sagittarius? Let's see what message is here for you for the 7th. February 7th, 2022 for Sag. Sag, don't forget to like this video, okay? And subscribe. <clears throat> Reach out for a personal love reading if you so choose. My email is in the description box. I would love to hear from you and work with you guys. Okay. All right, let's see. What's going on for Sassy Sag today? Ten of Cups. Showing up in your heart space. You are filled. <laughs> filled. Whatever it is. You're really enjoying your um, day in general. Okay. Whether it be spent with family, your children, your significant other, inside your home, your, your work. Okay. I, I, something is fulfilling emotionally. Something is fulfilling emotionally. Flaws and all. On your mind, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is balanced reciprocation. This is also some kind of gift or assistance. <clears throat> hmm. The challenge is the Five of Cups, which is grief, sadness, remorse, regret, focusing on the past. Um, Sag, I don't know who's giving you what. Yeah, got the moon here at the bottom of the deck and the death card with the empress. There's been some kind of significant change. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe some of you are having literal financial issues, but this six of pentacles is, like I said, a gift. I feel like you are um, receiving that from another individual and it kind of takes you out of this difficult energy not only a poverty mindset and uh situation but also as far as your emotional space okay it's improving your emotional space and your material space substantially and at the same time whatever it is you're being given this could just be kind words for some of you maybe this is money um advice perhaps it's a, a commitment of some sort whatever it is it's making an improvement upon you upon your life giving you more hope okay it's for Sagittarius Capricorn what's going on hope you're doing well today don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel Capricorn um you're getting a blank slate today okay as soon as I heard that, I saw the judgment card as well, which urges me to also add in there that in order to get this blank slate or, or um, move forward effectively or in an effective way with it, you have to also do all, of, you know, feel all of those things that come along with the judgment card energy, which is accountability, forgiveness, um, you know, being honest with oneself, seeking the truth in a situation, making a final decision, 
all of those things, okay? Judgment card also represents a second chance, but it only happens when all those other things occur. <clears throat> but I do feel like you're receiving a, a, another chance, a clean slate, blank slate. Nine of swords showing up in your heart space. Yeah. And this is guilt, okay? It is. So this forgiveness that we speak of may need to be for yourself. Um, there's also some deep fear here. I feel like the fear is associated with karma. And, and I'm wanting to say also whether you know it or not. I, you know, the things that we often anticipate will occur. Um, anxiety in general will lie to you but some of the things that we anticipate will occur is in fact poor karma but those things don't have to occur if you will step into this judgment energy fully on your mind six of cups yeah so there's some kind of connection to um the past for some of you this could have to do with your children the six of cups though that's what this represents a, a linkage to the past okay it could be good memories could be positive memories um i feel like there's guilt here for 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 one reason or another i think that there's also been some kind of trust that's been broken at some point as well the challenge is the eight of cups so the eight of cups asked for us to be introspective uh, maybe withdraw from from people places and things which i feel like you're doing here already with this nine of swords energy in your heart space or at least understanding that you need to today and it is the place where we realize where I've been is not satisfying me emotionally. And, and let me say that again. Where I've been is not satisfying me emotionally. That statement does not imply that it's because of someone else's actions. That, that, that is mostly because we have made the decisions that we've made to remain in that place or choose that place. Take it as it resonates. Where I've been is not where I want to be emotionally. This is what you're needing to focus on today. Figure out how you can get to that Nine of Cups energy. <clears throat> what was at the bottom? Yeah, the full, okay? A fresh start, clean slate. This is what I'm saying. You have it here. You just have to do the work. You have to do the work. Love it. Okay, that's for Capricorn. Aquarius. What's up, Aqua? Happy birthday. Happy stinking birthday, Aquarius. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good birthday if you're celebrating or you did have a good birthday if you already celebrated. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Let's see what's going on for you on the 7th for Aqua. Um, you're torn, <laughs> okay? Seven of Pentacles showing up in your heart space. You're assessing something, okay? Something that you have given your all to, but you're torn. For some reason, you're torn. I feel like you've really spent a lot of um, time, energy, resources, effort, emotions on something, but for whatever reason, you're torn, okay? It could be because you're becoming impatient, that it's not growing or something like this. On your mind, yeah, there it is. You're torn. Two of swords. Okay. You're torn, you're torn, you're torn. It's like I've put so much into this. If I let it go, then that means I let all of that go. But if I keep going, it may not go anywhere. That's sort of the energy that you're in today. This could be um, relevant for anything, honestly. The challenge is the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so the Queen of Cups, two things. First of all, it represents self-love, Okay self-love self-care and also okay three things it also is a card of focusing on listening to your intuition okay which is this two of swords energy as well showing up in your head space you're you okay um and this is also representing mutual interest so i'm not sure if it has to do with someone else who is not doing their part or just feeling like um you know my heart isn't in this anymore that's kind of what you're needing to focus on to make a decision. Yeah, we have the emperor here at the bottom of the deck. So, excuse me, this could be um, representing work or um, a business. 
that you have started on your own or trying to create right with the magician energy back there there's something here that you some sort of status here that you have um um uh, obtained okay some sort of status that you have obtained and it's like you're considering is it still worth it is this yeah you, know, you worked really hard for this aqua you worked really hard for this whatever it is okay all right it's for Aquarius Pisces what's up soul family what's going on Pisces let's get your message for the seventh I hope you guys are doing well okay let me know down in the comments what's going on for you at this time or how this message resonates for you or just say hey hey amira <laughs> let's see what's going on though for pisces don't forget to like this video pisces reach out for a personal love reading they're on sale right now okay all right let's see what's showing up for my piscean family <laughs> damn I I wish y'all could have seen my face just now as I was picking the cards back up my eyes got all big my neck rolled back because I started hearing Cupid and there's a lover's card okay so I guess Cupid is showing up Pisces today I don't know Knight of Cups yeah I guess Cupid is showing up <laughs> I think I'm showing up in your heart space. Okay, this is a romantic offer or gesture, um, opportunity of some sort. It's also, um, it's also an emotional change, okay, in general, a change in the emotional space. But this Knight of Cups is, you know, that's the one that we, we like as it pertains to our feels. <laughs> Because this energy is of someone who is really expressive, really intuitive, um, really determined to allure to the emotional space in whatever way that, you know, that could be by way of gifts, words, all of those things. Okay, you see this individual in the card is holding some flowers. Okay, on your mind. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> so the seven of pentacles is a space of assessment it's like okay is this going to be worth it is this going to be worth it is this still worth it is my time and energy going to be um respected there's something about this pisces that you're concerned about what's the challenge five of cups <laughs> Five of Cups is grieving, grieving over a loss. It's regret, it's shame, it's, it's focusing on the past as opposed to these new two cups, these two new cups that are trying to come into your life, into your space. It's being drawn in backwards instead of moving forward. I feel like that's a part of why the Seven of Pentacles is on your mind. Something that has occurred in the past, perhaps in a past relationship or situationship um, is kind of bleeding over into this situation it's, it's like uh you know creating red flags that aren't actually there okay pisces let cupid come in love this queen of pentacles <sighs> there's a four of cups <laughs> i like it um, guys this has been your daily reading please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel reach out for a personal love reading as they will continue to be on sale through the end of the month i love you guys to life and i'll see you next time for the next one bye